everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book tag video. I haven't done one of these in forever. Last time I did it, we were over at the desk. Um, and I think it was JB's book tag. I've done a book tag since then. I created one called the Author Playlist. Thank you to everyone who uh, who did that. I haven't watched all of your videos yet. I think I still need to watch uh, Jen, Jen, Bernard Jen Bernardini, but I am super behind on my videos. Uh, if, well, I shouldn't say if you're wondering where I've been because I posted <laughs> numerous videos. I had 22 videos uh, to upload when my internet went out last week. I had problems with AT&T. None of the satellite services said they could guarantee service out here, which is unheard of. Uh, even on Twitter, they're like, it's funny because my friend uh, H. Michael uh, Casper said, Hey, where do you live? The moon? And one of the, <laughs> one of the I think it was uh, either Viasat or Xfinity said, you might as well be living on the moon, which I thought was hilarious. Uh, but uh, even now, I think it's hilarious. I didn't think it was hilarious at the time. But um, my internet went out. It was about a week I was gone. So when you didn't see those videos, it's literally because I couldn't upload anything. But I was still filming. Um, so I still have, I, I think I have about 10 more videos to go up. I know I bombarded you guys, but I said all that to say this. This is the first new video. The video is coming up after this, except for the Tim Meyer unboxing. All those videos are still old. <laughs> I apologize for uploading so much old content, but it's it's all done. And I thought I was going to be able to do like two uploads a day, uh, two uploads a day for like you know three weeks, and, or no, for if it, if it was two uploads a day, it'd been two. Whatever. I'm not good at math. Math, math, bad. Math make e angry. <laughs> Anyways, but uh, thanks so much to uh, Regina, Regina's Haunted uh, Library, for tagging me in this. This is originally uh, created by Jason's Weird Reads. I'm a fan of both of their channels. Links will be down in the doobly-doo. Let's go ahead and jump into this. All right, so the tag is the, uh, the Book Snob Book Tag. And we are going to start with number one, of course. Uh, the Adaptation Snob. Do you always read the book before you see the movie? Um... We're going to make up percentages, I would say about 95% of the time, yes. Uh, books where I have absolutely no interest in the book, but I do want to see what all the fuss is about. Harry Potter, Hunger Games, um, uh, the, 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 the Hate You Give, things like that. I have no interest in most of those things because they're either YA or middle grade or whatever, um, so I just have no interest in them, uh, and we'll get into that more later on in this, in this tag. But uh, I have no interest in them, so I, I prefer to watch the movies. And are, is it different than the books? Of course it is. I've eventually gone back and read the Harry Potter series. And I actually prefer the movies just because it's not such a long experience. Um, but that's just me. Uh, but usually, uh, especially with Stephen King or you know, Joe Hill or uh, Caroline Kepnes or any of, any of, the, any of the, my big... Uh, my big fandoms, I will definitely watch the movie uh, second to the book. So I will read the book before, like right now I'm, I'm uh, reading through The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt uh, because the movie adaptation is coming out. If you want to start, buddy, when this goes up, I'm at page 70. If you'd like to jump in on the read, go ahead. It's whatever. It's uh, me and uh, my friend, uh, so many, so many people. Um, it's not Aaron. Who is it? Uh, Richard. Me and my friend Richard are reading, um, uh, reading it together, and I think my friend Tim might be jumping in. I don't know, but if you want to get on that, just let me know down there in the doobly-doo. All right, number two is Format Snob. This is easy. Uh, you can only choose one format in which to read books for the rest of your life. Which one do you choose? Physical books, e-books, or audiobooks? I'm, gonna get, I'm going to say controversial opinion here because I have a feeling that at some point in my life, if anything's going to go, it's going to be my sight. So I would go with audiobooks just to make sure, because I have, I have great hearing, I have great sight too, but um, I have diabe diabetes in the family, I've been diabetic, I'm no longer diabetic, um, I, so my eyesight's probably going to go first, um, or I, I, mean, I, I just feel like audiobooks would be the thing, but if we're talking about actually reading, like reading, like words on a screen, I have to go with uh, hardcovers because usually the type nowadays the type is of a good size. I don't like paperbacks; they're they're too flimsy for my liking. I destroy a paperback while reading, and hardcovers stand up to the punishment that I give them. So I'm gonna go with audiobooks with the caveat hardcover. Okay, I'll discuss that down there. A ship snob. I have no idea why this is called a ship snob. Um, I guess the relationship is is that it? That's that's what I'm taking from this. I know when you ship two things, like it, I did, I thought it was gonna be you know who do I ship 
in like the bookish community or something. <laughs> this number, I, I don't know, but uh, would you date or marry a non-reader? Absolutely not. Um, I, I, I am that much of a snob when it comes to this kind of thing. I have nothing in common with a non-reader. Uh, my entire life, I've been a reader, um, and if, uh, if I can't talk to someone about books, if they're just going to zone out and blank out and like, why do you even care about the, the, the words on the page? Then I, I don't, I don't want to be with that person. Shell, however, reads the, this is kind of like uh, Regina was talking about in her video. My wife reads the exact opposite of what I read. She read, basically reads everything except for romance um, that I don't read. She reads YA, middle grade, uh, loads and loads of nonfiction because she's a teacher. She teaches our kids. We're secular homeschool and not religious homeschool, so she constantly going out and educating herself. Uh, that sounds like I'm saying, well, I mean, it's true, but, um, <laughs> the, I'm so sorry. Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, but the, so she's constantly trying to educate herself so she can give the kids uh, the, the newest information. And my nonfiction stuff is usually pop culture or celebrity, you know, that kind of thing. Sometimes it's politics where she is all about science and mathematics and all that, all that stuff. So she's constantly educating herself. Whereas for my, my dollar, I, I want to be entertained. Um, so because that's that's still my escape. Now, uh, my screen flipped. A genre snob. You have to ditch one genre, never to be read again for the rest of your life. Which one do you ditch? I, I think it's going to be romance, um, just like with Re Re Regina said in her video. Uh, Re <laughs> romance just does nothing for me, and I think the reason for that, and I've said this before in earlier uh, videos, it, there is no greater love story than the one that I'm living now. I've tried reading romance, and I was like, I just don't get it. That's either, I look at, I, I read those books and I'm like, either that's not love, or, you know, that's like lust, or over here that's, that's, you know, abusive, or <laughs> that's this, that, and the other, whatever. I have never read a romance book, of course, I've only read maybe two dozen in my life, um, anywhere from Harlequin to Contemporary, all, all that stuff. I have never read one of those books and been like, that's better than what I'm experiencing. So, and that's what I want out of my entertainment is to, you know, escape and have maybe a better experience than I can, than I can have, you know, in this life or in this body, that kind of thing. Um, Uber genre snob. You can only choose to read from one genre for the rest of your life. Which genre do you choose? I'm going to say literary fiction. That covers the gambit of everything I like to read. Um, and there's there's pieces of every genre in that one. So I'm going to cheat and say literary fiction. But I, if I have to narrow it down to like the, the main genres, like horror, sci-fi, fantasy, romance, that kind of thing, the, the themed kind of thing, literary horror, uh, the bang for my buck, or magical realism, I'm really bad at choosing between these two. I, it's, it's like having to choose between a Stephen King book and a Haruki Murakami book. I don't think I could ever choose, um, you know, which one that I could... I, I need my Murakami and I need my, my King. You know, I need my Kepness. I need, I need that kind of thing. So as long as there's really, really fantastic writing, that's what I want to be reading. So And literary fiction is where it's at right now. It's all basically where it's always been. Um, that's why literary is in the name. Um... But yeah, so literary fiction, or if I need to narrow it down, literary horror. Uh, these last two ones, we're going to get into a heated discussion here. Uh, I feel very strongly about both of these, and it's funny because I, I might come off sounding hypocritical. So, um, but that's fine. I can be hypocritical, and we can have a discussion about it down there in the doobly-doo. Uh, the, the, first, the first one is number six. I'm waiting for my phone to act right. Okay, there we go. Um, community snob. Which genre do you think receives the most snobbery from the bookish community? My experience on this platform um, for BookTube is that the YA community gets a ton of shit. Uh, that they are, that these, especially the ladies of the community, are cardboard cutouts of one another. I understand where that, I understand where that mindset comes from. They all have the white bookshelves. They all have the rainbow colored book scheme as far, and that drives me nuts. It drives me nuts too, everybody that agrees with me. It drives me nuts too because I'm a, I'm a in order, I, I, I like, I library organize my fiction. To see it arranged by color drives me batshit. Um, but nobody deserves hate. Nobody deserves hate. I get plenty of hate. For, you know, whether it be, you know, my family, 
uh, the opinions I have on the internet, the opinions I hold personally, I get a lot of hate. And I, I expect it. You know, I, I grew up a fat kid. I expect hate. With the YA community, I got a lot of comments when I first started filming that really upset me. Um, there was a, there a lot of comments about, you're the only straight booktuber. Uh, you're the only straight male booktuber. You're one of the only booktubers that are, that is a, a man. You're the only booktuber I watch because of that. And I blocked every single person that said that, those specific words, because I am not going to build the same kind of community that PewDiePie has built. Um, where he doesn't police the the bullshit that goes on in his chat threads. Uh, he's big enough that he could hire people to do that if he wanted to. Um, and that's just my own opinion. But I am n I'm not that person. Um, I am not the person that you that you that you think I am. If you think that I am a straight male booktuber, um, I don't I don't fit into those categories because I don't believe in those categories. It's not something that I personally believe in. But what I'm getting at is I got those comments a lot. I also got comments constantly about how I was the only I was the only male no, I was the only booktuber talking about adult books, and a lot of the time they would throw in man. Um, I, you're the only man that, uh, that has videos up, you know, about adult books, which is just, it's a load of shit. It's not true. You have Adam Cesar, you have Jason's Weird Reads, you have loads of Cameron Chaney, you have loads of men talking about adult books. Um, but at this, at, so with those comments, those made me feel uncomfortable also, and it also made me feel unwelcome, um, which is the, where the hypocrisy comes into play. Am I wanted in this community? Because I don't look and act like everybody else. Um, you pull up everybody else's channels, uh, I, I don't see one that looks like mine. Um, you may find it, and if you do, I'd love to see it, because I've never found it. I'm not bragging about being original, it's just... I. I don't fall into any categories, and I've, all, I've never tried to fall into any category. Um, but the, the, the hate that the YA community gets, if you don't like the books, don't read the books. Um, if you don't like the, the booktubers, don't watch those booktubers. I don't understand going out and s actively searching for stuff that you hate. I don't get it. I don't understand the mindset. But hands down, now that we got real for a second, hands down, YA community gets the most shit. Now, if we're talking about in general, in general, of course it's the romance community. No, it, everybody shits on the romance community. Anytime there's a big romance thing, it gets shit all over. No, there's no, <laughs> there's very few people out there celebrating Twilight and Fifty Shades of Grey, but it, there's plenty of people out there celebrating horror novels based on vamp vampirism and, you know, BDSM. There's plenty of uh, celebration going on there. You don't see any, but you see people making fun of that. And the, the, and the, you know, the, the, what is it, the, not the buttress, but the bosom, what's the, the, whatever, the, I can't, I can't even think of the name of it, but the, uh, I, I'll think about it, the Harlequin covers and everything with the women with the bulging chest meat and the dudes with the bulging chest meat and everybody's got bulging chest meat, that, uh, the, people shit on those books all the time. I have good friends who read that stuff. Um, and they're constantly getting hate. Nowhere near as much hate as I get for reading horror. Um, but it seems okay, just like it's okay to still make fun of fat people in, in today's society. It seems like it's okay to make fun of romance people. Um, and I don't, I don't like that either for the same reason. I don't think that fat, it should be okay to make fun of fat people. Yes, we're fat. Just leave us the fuck alone, though. Um, and it's funny because even, you know, it's like, well... If you talk to someone about this enough, you know, they'll eventually change their lifestyle, both ro romance and, you know, being fat. It's like, no, no, we won't. If, if you if you love eating, you're going to continue to eat. And if you love romance, you're going to continue to love romance. Not, no amount of hate is going to change that. Now, for the last one, snobbery re recipient. Have you ever been snubbed for something that you have been reading or for reading in general? Um, yeah, of course. I mean, the one of the books on my top 20 list of all time is James Newman's Animosity. You get a lot of sketchy reactions when you say that you're a horror fan. Um, and it's gotten to the point where it's become almost, you know, a slur. To, it's like, oh, they're just a horror fan, or oh, that movie's just a horror movie, or that's just a horror novel, or whatever. Um, 
but throughout my whole life I've always been judged to be the bad guy and this goes into why I don't really care too much what people say about me or how they feel about me or what they what what they say period I'm very protective over certain things and of course I'm not gonna tell you because that'll give fuel to the trolls but um, there's certain things that will push my buttons um, but it's it's never been people judging me for what I like if that makes any sense now you do get a lot of crap though and you hear a lot of people you, you hear a lot of people complain about the crap that you get and it does fascinate me you know it do you see the same I, I, I think you see the same kind for every for just about every genre for fantasy sci-fi horror just about any genre so I don't think that there is one that that you know that that I have uh, I, I think if anything it'd be horror but it's never affected me I guess is where I'm going with this tirade um, I just feel like you know there's never been significant hate pointed in my direction for liking something now with that being said there has been significant hate shoved at me because I dislike things um, uh, the Mailerman fans, the Tremblay fans, uh, I just recently had a discussion with uh, someone over uh, the blog post I wrote uh, that were, where I mentioned Tremblay um, in, a, in a joking manner and they took offense to it and I'm like, I, I, I can't help that you're offended. I mean, because it was supposed to be offen offensive. The humor was offensive. Um, but I get more hate from people who can't except the fact that I don't like what they like. In fact, I just got, I got three comments last night after I watched Regina's video. I got three comments that said something to the fact that I don't understand why you don't like this. This book is the greatest book of all time. One of them was on Tommy Knockers. Uh, I think the other two, I, I can't remember. I'm like, it's really, a, I'm, I'm sure there's plenty of shit that I love that you don't like. I'm sure of it. So wh where's all the hate coming from? I, d I don't get it. You know, I don't, I don't eat it jack-in-the-box. Well, I don't have jack-in-the-box, but I don't eat a jack-in-the-box because I don't like their hamburgers. When I lived out west, I didn't eat there because I didn't like their hamburgers. I prefer Burger King or McDonald's. I'm sure there's plenty of people who love jack-in-the-box. I'm not out there hunting down people who, who, who ship, who ship, who stand jack-in-the-box. I don't understand it. Why do people do it? If you're the type of person that has ever commented on someone's opinion, saying, I don't understand why you like, I want you to explain to me, and you're probably not watching this video because if you don't like uh, opposing opinions, you're not a fan of this channel. I, I know that already. But I want to hear from those people. So maybe tag some of your, give them the time code for this video. I'd love to talk to you. I would love to, what what exactly do you hope to accomplish? It's like, it's like going back to what I said earlier about fat people and romance fans and whatnot and equating those two things. Calling someone a fat ass is not going to help them lose weight. What exactly are you trying to accomplish? I don't get it. I don't understand that mindset. I never have understood that mindset. So I would love to talk to somebody who has that mindset, who is not a complete and utter douchebag. Because usually those kind of those kind of debates or talking points usually devolve and you know just rot from 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 the outside in until it's just a smoldering dumpster fire of just fuckery. Uh, but anyways. Thank you so much. I went off on a tangent. I'm not going to tag anybody with this one because I don't feel, after all the controversial shit I said, I don't feel, you know, that they, they want to point back to this video. So I'm not going to tag anybody, but if you want to do this book tag, please do. Please give credit to Regina for tagging me and especially Jason's weird reads for uh, his video. I believe he created it. From what I understand, he's the one who created the tags. And definitely check out their channels. They're down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book tag video. Ooh, I can't wait for the comments. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.